Hi everyone and welcome back to another Disney Brownie video. Today's video is all about Disney bags, so really amazing Disney bags that I've got here to show you. I've purchased some of these bags in the past and I've also been kindly gifted all of this full range by a company called Swallet.co.uk. So all of these products have been gifted to me, but they are amazing and that's why I want to talk to you about these today. These bags would be absolutely perfect for a Disneyland Paris trip or any Disney trip, to be honest, across the world. Um, also here in the UK, if you really love Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack and Sally, these bags are perfect for you. And given the fact that Halloween is not that long around the corner, these bags would be absolutely perfect for any type of Halloween. Halloween trip. So now let's dive straight into the video and get to exactly why these bags are so amazing. I'm going to take you through each and every one of the bags to show you exactly what they could be used for etc. The bags that we've specifically taken on previous trips and the bags that we're going to be taking on future trips as well. So let's dive straight into the video. everyone welcome back to Disney Brownies if you're new to the channel thanks so much for clicking on this video today and watching this swallet.co.uk Disney bag range so it's the nightmare before Christmas Jack and Sally what's not to love I mean if you love Jack and Sally you love the nightmare before Christmas you will absolutely love these bags so it's a little bit of a different video for us today just because well one I'm on my own Emily's not with me today um but two we're not at Disneyland Paris and most of the vlogs that you will have seen so far on our channel if you've been watching our channel will be actually at Disneyland Paris. Now I do have a trip scheduled quite soon for Disneyland Paris and um, so certainly within the next couple of months. We've been going to Disneyland Paris for such a long time, a lot of years, so we do have quite a lot of experience in terms of what to do, what not to do. So I'm definitely going to be posting some how-to guides. I'll definitely be posting more content to do with Halloween as well and just general videos to do with Disneyland Paris itself. So some top tips definitely. So subscribe if you haven't already Already. definitely like this video and definitely comment on anything to do with these swallet.co.uk bags or anything to do with Halloween or anything that you want to comment on to do with Disney brownies and the videos that you've seen so far from us. Just want to say that at the end of all of this I am actually just going to discuss with you what's currently on swallet.co.uk's website how much these bag items are. Obviously all of this range has been fully gifted to me so I haven't paid for anything so this is more of a promotion and ad you know for the company but as I say I did purchase bags from them before and I was really really happy with the bags that I purchased so I have paid for them in the past it's just these have obviously been gifted to me but I want to share with you the price of the items they do often have sales um, and I think a lot of these items are actually on sale right now so stick with me with the video as I say I'm going to share with you all of the full bag range and then I'm going to get to the website and share with you the full prices of the items right now so now let's get straight to the bags I'm going to share with you each one of them to show you the bags, show you what they're really good for and as I say the ones that we've specifically used because some of the ones that I've actually been gifted I haven't actually had chance to use as yet so I want to obviously say a massive thank you to swallet.co.uk for gifting these bags it was so kind of them I did purchase a couple of bags from them previously um, and I did do a video on how great these bags actually were so in all honesty you know I've already bought these I've already bought a couple of bags from them and already thought they were so amazing that I did a video on it so it's not that I'm doing a video just because I've been gifting these products they are really good and I have as I say done a video before um, so the first bag I'm going to get to is actually one of the rucksacks which is this one now this is quite a large rucksack it doesn't look that big if I'm honest but because of all the sections in it it is actually pretty big so it does open quite wide here at the bottom and then it has an awful lot of zips. I mean, I think this is definitely the pro for the solid.co.uk bags because the amount of compartments in them is just amazing. And I find it so useful and especially at Disneyland Paris more than anywhere. When you're on a Disneyland Paris trip, you just need to get to so many different things. You need to take so many things with you in a part bag. I mean, I do see quite a few people, to be honest, wandering around with hardly anything in a bag, you know, just tiny little bags. I don't understand why because I always seem to take 
everything with me um, and Emily does as well to be honest and her dad has a bag as well so all three of us do carry quite a lot of things with us so if you like us and you want a lot of things in your bags these are perfect as I say lots of different compartments you've got a front pouch here just with a velcro then you've got another small zip here which again is quite a large sort of pouch area then you've got another one they just keep going to be honest um, another one there so again that opens up to be quite big then you've got the main big zip inside you've got an inside zip you've got an inside pouch and then on the back which I think is really useful and especially if you were carrying things such like a passport or anything or money you know anything that you want because it's obviously on the inside of your back then no one's going to be able to get to it or, or whatever. I mean, I, would, I certainly wouldn't say that anywhere in Disneyland Paris you're at risk of anybody taking anything, but you still don't know, do you? I mean, it can be easy to get lost in that Disney bubble and not really be aware of, you know, things in your bag. So things like this are just excellent to have an inside zip inside, you know, the back area of the bag. So yeah, that's perfect. And then we've got some side pouches here so for water bottles or I mean I sometimes put sanitizer and things like that in there that I want to easily get to so this is a backpack that we've actually used in Disneyland Paris and it was absolutely perfect now I do have another one of these because this is one of the backpacks that I actually purchased prior to any of this being gifted by solid.co.uk and also a small backpack um, that I bought for Emily which I don't think that is available on the website to be honest, when I last recently checked. This is, and all of the other ranges that I'm going to discuss with you are, but I don't think the small backpack is. However, I'm just going to get to some footage now of my first video that I actually did on our other channel, The Brownie Life, in case you didn't realize, we do have another channel, which is a bigger channel than this one because it's been going for a lot longer. Um, definitely go check that out if you haven't already. We do lots of travel and holiday things on there. We do Primark, shopping hauls, all different things. But I did actually post quite a lot of Disney content on there at the beginning of the channel. There's definitely about 50 videos on Disneyland Paris on there. So it is older content, yes, but there might be still some things that you might find useful. So definitely go check out the Brownie Life. But I'm just going to insert just a little clip to do with this bag when I first got it and the smaller rucksack. The bag I originally bought was this one. So this is a Nightmare Before Christmas. It features um, Jack and Sally, lots of um, overall design across the bag. It's got um, a one strap there, which actually then zips and goes into two straps and it is pretty much the size well no it's a little bit bigger it's bigger than a lounge fly bag this bag is, was just wonderful to be honest absolutely amazing we had rain while we were there and it did actually withstand the rain not, none of the water went through also the sunshine because we had really really hot weather as well um and it's not that you know it's faded or anything like that so it really stood up to the weather conditions <laughs> So next I'm going to share with you these satchel type bags and um, perfect you know even though they're not the same sort of style as a rucksack these are still perfect bags to obviously put across you and they do still hold quite a lot obviously not quite as much as the rucksack but I've used them on the Disneyland Paris trip just the last trip that we went on and these were just amazing really really good bags again they've got the same um, back zip here which is obviously against you which is perfect to put anything in there like I said passport money anything that you want to keep secure but then they've got obviously the front zips as well so a teeny one there uh, which I kept sort of the part tickets in there just so that they're easy to get in and out and then another zipped part there and then another one again a similar type of thing to the rucksack it doesn't hold as I say quite as much as the rucksack would do um, but it has got so many compartments in it so then you've got pouches at this side of the bag and then an inside zip here and it does actually fold out to be quite reasonable there in terms of the depth still would hold an awful lot um, of things in there so as i say me and emily have both used both of these bags and found them amazing one thing that i would definitely say is they're so comfortable to wear as well you know some bags i've particularly got bags in the past from say amazon or 
other places that I've, I've worn rucksacks or bags similar to this and they just haven't felt very comfortable but these actually really are comfortable and one other thing in terms of the fabric on them is that they're so easy to wipe down now I myself I hate it when you can't wipe bags down or you can't put them in the washer now I haven't put them in the washer just because some of the bags do have sort of handles that I don't think you would put them in the washing machine but they are perfect for just wiping everything down and that's what I've done with these bags they haven't you know marked in any way I was very surprised that none of the bags that we took along to Disneyland Paris actually marked in any way so even at the bottom of them obviously there is some parts here that are white now Disneyland Paris is very clean I have to say but you are putting your bags down on the floor quite a lot in terms of on rides um, or when you're seeing a show or whatever you might put your bag on the floor as you're watching things so you know things do get or can get you know quite dirty some of the time if you're popping things on the floor etc but these just didn't mark at all as I say really really easy to wipe down so another pro for these bags so now I'm going to get to the bags that were used for traveling so for traveling purposes when we went to Disneyland Paris as I said I'm referring to Disneyland Paris just because this is what I've used the bags for this is what I intend to use the bags for again and obviously our channel is all to do with Disneyland Paris but you can absolutely use these bags for any Disney trip well Worldwide, and you can also use them here in the UK obviously if you're a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas and love Jack and Sally then why would you not use them absolutely love them they're really really good so more like a hold all bag so again they fold out quite wide here in terms of the depth of the bag there's no sort of back zip or anything with these these have got less um, compartments but still really really good in terms of a travel bag so we've got a front zip there which is actually quite flat and um, I can't remember exactly what I put in there I think most of the documentation was actually with my husband so like passports etc so I didn't use the bag for that um, but I did put sort of I think it was like my Disney notepad and pen and things like that of things that I wanted to do while we were traveling things I wanted to refer to and then in here just a really large space Put lots of bits and pieces that you might want you know if you've got food and drink snacks and things if you've got you know something else that you're wearing your disney ears or anything else that you're going to take with you for the travel purposes because it's just got a normal handle and it isn't something you can put across you or on your back like a rucksack i just didn't think they were that appropriate for the actual park um but i definitely think in terms of travel purposes they're absolutely brilliant because often i just kind of rested it on top of my suitcase and it just looked amazing I just love the look of them as I say the feel of them how they can wipe over I think they're perfect so these were the ones that we used for traveling and as I say we're going to be using them again when I say traveling we actually use them on the Eurostar that's the, how we travel to Disneyland Paris so I'm going to get to a clip now of when we actually use these obviously any of you that have been watching our videos you may have already seen this but some of you might have missed our travel video and um, how we travel to Disneyland Paris by Eurostar so that video is definitely live on Disney Brownies channel right now but I'm just going to get to a little clip just to remind anybody or anyone that hasn't seen that bit of footage in terms of what these bags were like when we were traveling so i'm going to get to that clip now just wanted to point out as well loving the bags they've been really really good in terms of traveling and i'm sure they'll be really good in the parks i mean this particular one i'm just using more as a travel purpose sort of bag um, but this one is the same rucksack that i bought sort of around halloween time and um, emily's been using that one and i'm using um this crossbody bag but they've been really good with all the different compartments so useful for traveling and as i say for park bags as well so definitely go check swallow it out if you haven't already We've got some amazing um bargains on the website with the nightmare before christmas range if you're a fan um, and you love jack and sally then definitely go check out these bags for any time of year or halloween coming up So the next bags that I'm going to get to, I'm really excited to use these because I haven't actually opened them properly and used them as yet, but I definitely want to. I'm really excited to use them. Now they're much smaller bags, just like a little handbag size, um, and they are actually quite hard backed, so they're not soft like the other bags. Really perfect, but obviously a lot smaller. So for me personally at the moment, given the fact of everything I take into Disneyland Paris and um, something like this I just wouldn't use for a park bag however I would love to use it for like an evening out or whatever and um, so I 
definitely something that I could take just to put sort of little essentials in there. It's not going to hold all my camera equipment and things, but if I was just taking my little DJI camera, which is just tiny and just a few other little essentials, and that would be perfect. We'd use them more as a special bag for an evening, a bit like my lounge fly bag that I've got. I tend to use that in Disney more as an evening bag when we go for like a nice meal or something, um, or when we've got, say, a day outside the park so that you can maybe do that sort of nice evening meal and you haven't got all your things that you need with you for a part day for instance um but yeah we'll definitely be using them if it's not this trip it will definitely be future trips absolutely love them i love the strap on it it's got this colored strap here and then also got this other strap as well i'm not sure if you were purchasing them whether you'd actually have a choice in the strap or whether they come with both straps i'm not entirely sure i wouldn't know that for the next products i've got these which are just i don't know are they actually sort of like bum bags that go around your waist or can you use them as like over your shoulder still you possibly could couldn't you so they're just like little they're, they're only quite they're not as deep obviously as all the other bags that i've been talking about and they're only quite small so they're just like a little you know chuck in a few bits and pieces type of bag same design and everything and um, but yeah you could maybe have it over your shoulder or you could probably pop it around your waist me and emily haven't actually used these bags as yet just because we've been using all of the bigger bags and um, but i'll definitely use them in some trip one part or another and um, i think they're perfect they're such good bags obviously they're much smaller so they're not going to hold things like all the bigger bags would so for us personally i would be definitely more heading towards the bigger bags you know the rucksacks and the satchels just because they hold a lot more and for us we just take that many that many things i think these bags would be perfect if you were just going out for an evening you just want a few little essentials with you but you don't need your full park bag or potentially even if you had breakfast somewhere but you were going back to your room to get your big Big bag to take to the park you could just pop a few little bits in here you know maybe you need wipes and sanitizer if, well if you're like me you maybe do well you've just your phone and a couple of bits and pieces i think they'll be perfect and for some people this would be adequate for a full park day um if they're just taking with you you know a few little essentials and you don't need all the things that i take with me for my park days last but certainly not least I haven't used this yet, but I'm definitely going to take it on my next trip to Disney. I love it. I've just got one of these. This is perfect for me to put in my bag. So you've got, um, obviously it's a wallet purse, um, so you can put any cards in there. So you could put your Disney passes in there. And then you've got a zipped part where you could put, obviously, your money as well. So really you could hold everything in there from any cash that you might take with you to cards to Disney passes all in one little wallet so i think that's perfect absolutely love that so i'll definitely take that with me for my next trip so now looking at the website for swallet.co.uk so that is spelled s-w-o-l-i-t dot co.uk so that's the company that have kind of gifted all these wonderful bags to me and you yourself can go on their website right now they've got a big sale on the nightmare before christmas range the bags that i've been discussing in this video so i'm just going to take you through each of the bags hopefully all of them are available if they're not it might be something that you could email them about to see you know whether they would get them back in stock etc but I think most of them probably will be. So let me just check what is available so far. So first of all, the body satchel, which will be this bag, the ones that me and Emily have taken already to Disneyland Paris. This one is reduced from £29 to £22. So this is the bigger satchel that just goes across you. So perfect value. The next item is the large rucksack, which again is something that me and Emily have both used. This is £39, now down to £24. So another great bargain. So this is for the larger backpack. So the handbag um, style bag is also on there. Again, priced initially at £39 down to £24. It does look as if it's got this strap, but again, you could ask if you were interested in the black and white one. Maybe they might have them separately. I'm not entirely sure. That was just obviously what was gifted to me. So it might be that they're not for sale. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like currently on the website, it's this strap on the picture anyway. So £24 for those bags this i think it's classed as a sling bag crossbody um so this is uh six pound 90 instead of 19 pounds and a lot of these bags do say limited edition or limited stock 
The only thing that I can't see on the website right now is the Huldol travel bag. Um, but what I can see is they seem to have a travel bundle which gives you four different items, including that Huldol. And obviously for a lot of people, you might not want two, you might only want one of those. And it looks like that's £49 instead of £84. And it does look as if it includes four different types of bags, which definitely includes um, the large rucksack I showed you before. And this um, hold all, for, obviously for the travelling purposes, would be amazing. You also get the crossbody, the small crossbody bag as well. Sorry, if the lighting is going a little bit dark, I do apologise. I'm in my conservatory, it was lovely bright and sunny, which it is, but every now and again, it keeps going just slightly dark. I'm not sure if it's dimming it on the camera, so I do apologise if the lighting keeps going back and forth. But as I say, you can get the hold all, the large rucksack, the small satchel, and there is another bag, but I can't actually quite make how exactly what it is it's just black and white and it says the nightmare before christmas on it anyway it does say four different items in the flash sale 84 pounds down to 49 that seems an incredible bargain because obviously if you're buying the rucksack anyway if you're buying this then effectively pretty much you're definitely going to get the satchel plus something else pretty much for free aren't you so if you're interested in quite a few of the items i think that would definitely be a really good buy the only item i can't see is this wallet but there is another one on the website but I, I genuinely don't think it's this one because mine didn't come in a box and this one is it's priced at 29 pounds initially down to 19 pounds now and um, but that does look to me a little bit more of a leather type look to it rather than this which is more the fabric so this is definitely more the fabric like all of the bags but I don't think you can get this exact one as I said there is the other one on the website so there's, there's definitely things on the website that are very similar to the things that I've shown you today so not every single item is exactly the same but the majority of them are there on the website right now one thing that i didn't notice before on the website which is on there obviously i don't have it um is the tote bag on the nightmare before christmas range that looks really good as well and there's a few other different sort of newer bags as well so there's definitely a few extra things on there on the website to what i've shown you today so definitely go check out swallet.co.uk they're an amazing company for the service what i would definitely say is when you order you get an email straight away explaining obviously what you've ordered etc there's definitely a lot of communication by email um, and if I remember rightly when I obviously these were all gifted to me so these just obviously turned up in terms of you know a gift to me but the bags that I actually paid for and ordered myself and um, I did get them really really quickly I think it was the next day unless it was the day after the next day but I'm pretty certain it was the next day and quite a few of these things do say arise within one to three working days next day available um, so I do think you get the products really really quickly and that's my experience with swallet.co.uk the service just been amazing in terms of how quickly you get the products um, and that communication between yourselves that once you've ordered it you do get that communication um, you know going through until you get the item so I was really impressed with the service anyway and if you checked out my earlier video on the brownie life um, to do with the first purchases that I bought from the company you'll realize that that's exactly what I said how wonderful the service was and how amazing the products were as well obviously this video all these products have been gifted to me but I think the point I'm trying to make is that just because these have been gifted to me you know doesn't make the product you know any different because I wouldn't obviously put a video out unless I felt that the products were excellent and as I say because I bought them previously in the past from them I can definitely recommend the company love the bags me and Emily will definitely be taking a big range of this that we've actually got um, with us to Disneyland Paris on our next upcoming trip which will be very soon um, so definitely keep watching our channel for more Disneyland Paris content as I say I've got lots more of how to two guides and Halloween content coming up and then when we do go on our next trip to Disneyland Paris there'll be content direct from the park so lots lots more to come so definitely subscribe if you haven't already definitely give this video a really big like and the most important thing definitely go check out swallet.co.uk's website we've got amazing bags on there they don't just have this nightmare before Christmas range obviously 
that have leather bags on there, vegan bags on there, lots of other bags. Obviously some of the bags that I wouldn't personally be interested in because I, the reason why I ordered through them is due to the Nightmare Before Christmas range because that was something that really caught my eye. But definitely check out their website because there's lots and lots of other bags on there. So definitely give them some support. Go check out the things and hopefully you get to order some really good bargains for yourself. I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed. So thanks so much for watching today's video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a really big like and I'll see you on the next one everyone. Bye!